corporate governance, uh, very simply defined, is the manner in which companies are directed and controlled. That's a very, very simple, old definition. But there are several definitions all over, and so it's, it's really uh, about how companies are governed. It's about ethical and responsible leadership, about sustainability of organizations, some people may say. But the very, very simple and basic definition is, is about how companies are governed and how uh, undirected. Corporate governance is about companies. And then this foundation is based on what we call the four P's of corporate governance. The first P is people. So corporate governance is actually looking at people because companies are formed by people. The directors are people. The customers are people. The suppliers are people. So any company is formed by people, for people, you know, to serve people. So corporate governance, which deals with directing and controlling companies, is for the sake of people. The second P, which is the foundation, corporate governance is purpose. So for what purpose is this company formed by the people to serve the people? For what purpose? So each company has its own purpose. So corporate governance also makes sure that when you are directing and controlling a company, you do not digress to other things. You stick to your purpose. Then the third Key is what we call processes. So you need processes to achieve your purpose of serving the people. Then the fourth foundation uh, element is performance. So corporate governance needs companies to perform using the processes to serve the past purpose for which it is created to serve the people. And there are, there's what we call the overarching principles of corporate governance. That is the transparency, accountability, responsibility and fairness. Accountability, the people in charge, the directors especially, are given power and authority. So they have to account for the exercise or lack of exercise of that power to the people who gave them that authority. Responsibility relates to responsibility relates to the liability that falls on you for the exercise of that power. Mm. You're responsible for that. And then there is transparency. How are your reporting and your system set up so that anybody from outside reading your reports, for instance, mm. can understand what's happening financially? and uh, or in the operations. Do you have two receipt books, one for URA and one for the other? Transparency. And then fairness is about treating all stakeholders, key stakeholders fairly. And for the company mainly relates to the minority shareholder. 